Yeager says the Walton exit isn't built to handle the traffic it does during the evening commute. He says that's due to all the development in the area over the past few decades. How do you get cars through an interchange like Walton specifically faster? The quick fix is to uh, change change the uh, timing, the signal timing, to allow more green time for those ramps. Um, but again, if, if you allow more green time, they still have to get somewhere. And if you, if you only get two cars through before they have to stop at the next signal, then, then you've not done it. Jaeger tells me the entire Walton interchange area must be redesigned. Now there's a truck stop next to it, and those semis can cause backups while they try to get back onto the highway. Now a long-term fix is in the works, but that's years away. What about ex extending that exit ramp into the current emergency lane on the right-hand side to, to create even more space for, for that traffic to back up? When you take away this safety lane, the shoulder, uh, you know, and there's a breakdown, and of course what happens then if someone is in that shoulder that is broken down, using it for the purpose it is, and then somebody thinks that they're in that queue, that can cause some problems. So again, you have to kind of weigh that. Now, the one thing that Jaeger says engineers just can't design around is bad driver behavior. Jaeger says drivers need to put their phones down and focus on driving. Keep an eye on not only the vehicle that's in front of you, but also what's going on down the highway so that you can anticipate and have time and the space needed to react if traffic is backed up. In Walden, I'm Christian Hauser. Back to you. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.